I'll get back to you guys by the end of the day with all the logistics. Sergeant Terrence Jeffords. Four years ago on this exact date, you told me I was too old to learn how to do the worm. I vowed on that day to prove you a fool. And today, I shall. Check it. <laughs> As I was telling the squad, our old CO, Captain McGintley, just passed away. Oh, no. We're going to Los Angeles for the funeral next week. I'll have the travel details later. Hey, has anyone seen a worm? Because this funky chicken's hungry. Charles, a man has died. Read the room. OK, hold me. <clears throat> nothing but mouth. Whoa, impressive. Are you kidding me? That's a nothing. Diaz has been chucking D-holes into my mouthpiece since we were back at the academy. Check this out. in the break room, so I put his hand in a bowl of warm water. Come on, man, that's the stupidest prank ever. Uh, no, it's the smartest, because it involves biology. I bet it worked already. Let's go check. Hitchcock, no! He's drowning, he's drowning! Save him, man! <sighs> I'll take it back, Jake. Great prank. Gather round, glorious turd monsters, and feast your eyes on what I hold in this hand. The future of movement, a hoverboard. I don't understand those things. Is walking really so hard for you? Oh, Ames, walking's a nightmare. Yeah, Amy. Now, friends, eat my space dust. <laughs> okay. A little harder to control than I thought. <laughs> okay. There we go. Whew. I think I'm getting the hang of it. No, I'm not! <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! You got this? No, I do not got this, Terry. Don't let go of me! The future of movement is now! Oh. Uh, all right, you take the skinny one on the right, I'll take the big one on the left. Oh. NYPD, Santa, stop hitting Santa. What's going on here? I've been on this corner for six years. Suddenly, this guy shows up. Hey, you don't own this corner. I got a charity, too. Canine diabetes. Who cares about a fat dog? Hey, they can't give themselves shots. They got paws. Calm down, calm down. Boil first the skinny one. I've gone 42 years without a lump of coal. I'm not going to start now. Are you kidding me? All right, fine. Come here, buddy. Ah! Hey, my fat cherry cheeks. Oh, that fell wrong. Knife! Skinny Santa's got a knife! That's right! Boom! Just kick Santa in the testicles. Merry Christmas! Falcon 1, do we have a go? The light is green, Tiger 1. What are you gonna say when he crashed through the window? Hey there. Sorry for dropping in. Goosebumps, Jake. Goosebumps. Is the equipment secure? Check. Weapon loaded? Check. Did you have breakfast? What? That's not on the checklist. I added it because I care about you. No, I did not have breakfast. Unacceptable. Look in your pocket. Hey, there's little chocolate chips in this. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I know how to trick my best friend into eating his fiber. All right. Bar digested. Mission go. Hey there. Sorry for dropping in. Was it cool? It felt really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool? What went wrong? Hey. You have fudge on cheek. Oh, from the breakfast bar, Boyle! I've been going at him for six hours. He won't say a word. The guy's a brick wall. Not to worry, Sarge. I'll take it from here. Hope you boys brought popcorn, because I'm about to put on a show. Well, well, well. I hear you don't like answering questions, Marcos. That's fine by me, because I'm not asking. Oh, handle fell off. Let me scrap that. <clears throat> Nope. So, looks like we're locked in. 
That's bad news for you, because you're trapped in here with a psycho. <laughs> Has anyone tried it from the outside? Lock's broken. Got to call facilities. Copy that. No rush. As I said, I got all the time in the worst little worm in here, right? Do you feel any air coming out of that vent? I got nothing. We got an ETA on facilities? At least 45 minutes. And I've checked all this paint for lead, right? And the room for asbestos? I feel like I'm sucking on a tailpipe in here. Marcos! Everybody get away from the mirror! Come on! I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Hey, calm down, man. I'll confess. Just stop freaking out. What? I did it. I robbed them. Boo! And that's how it's done. I was faking the whole thing to break him. I could have stayed in here forever. Good, because facility's going to be a couple hours. We're going to die in here! Sir, I'd like to talk to you about the new task force you're on the hiring committee for. The Special Tactical Operations and Auxiliary Strategic Response Citywide Emergency Investigative Unit for Emergency Operations. You know, I had a hand in naming it. And it's great, although you might want to try shortening it, maybe using a cool acronym. So the S-T-O-A-S-R-C-I-U-E-O. Hmm, you're right, that is cool. Sure. Anyways, I know some of the best cops in the city are going to be on that task force, and I would appreciate it if you'd consider me for it. Here's my resume. And I thought it would be fun if I wrapped it. But then I realized that would be a terrible idea, so I just wrote it down normally. It'll probably rhyme a lot on accident. Try not to focus on that. Jake Peralta is age 39, but professionally, he's still in his prime. <laughs> if you ask me, he's New York's fine, ellipses est. Charles enters. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Chucky B with the burner, a rain and hot fire! Hey, Charles, it's not a rap, never was. Everyone's professional here. <laughs> not the lyrics we discussed either. Anyways, sir, I really think that I deserve this task force. My clearance rate puts me in the top 2% of all NYPD detectives. I am aware of your qualifications, Peralta, but I'm only allowed to recommend one name for the S T O A S R C I U E O. And you don't think the acronym's just a little clunky? I know, it was quite catchy. Look, I really feel like I've got what it takes. I'm experienced, I'm hardworking, and I'm unflappable in the face of. <laughs> Ah, Captain, you're at my desk. Just what I want to see first thing in the morning. You're three minutes late, Peralta. Not my fault. I had a plumbing problem. <laughs> Which reminds me, I'm going to need a new departmentally issued phone. Oh, come on, really? I'm a few minutes late, so you're going to call me out in front of everyone? Good idea. Everyone, gather around so I can call out Peralta in front of you. OK, fine. I was three minutes late. I'm sorry for doing one thing wrong. Oh, it's more than one thing. Uh -oh. Let's start with the Kristoff murder. It was an amazing solve. I got him to confess in 20 minutes. You also mislabeled the evidence. So that confession is worthless if the sergeant hadn't caught your mistake. Here are three cases with sloppy paperwork. Here are two pictures. One is your locker. The other is a garbage dump in the Philippines. Can you tell which is which? That one's the dump. They're both your locker. God, I should have guessed that. He's good. This folder is labeled undies, comma, dirty. So I won't confuse it with undies, comma, clean. Also, who cares about all these rules? I have more felony arrests than any other detective here. You also have more mice living in your desk than any other detective. <gasps> Algernon! You guys, Algernon's back. Get rid of the mouse and get your act together now. He's grumpy. Okay, we're all set up in there, Mr. Peralta. Just uh, sign here. What's all set up? What's going on? Ah, thank you for asking, Terrence. You see, the food in prison was inedible. All I thought about day and night were the things I wished I was eating. And you, Amy. I thought about you a lot. Sex with you, just us doing sex with foreplay. Great save, babe. Thanks. And so I decided to make my food fantasy come true. Unbutton your pants and take off your shoes, because there's going to be a doink load of sodium at Freedom Feast 2017. We begin where all great stories begin, in the quaint little town of French Fry Village. After that, we're going to move our adventure over to Cheeseburger Mountain, which consists, you guessed it, of turkey burgers. I'm kidding, it's cheeseburgers. This is kind of just stuffing. You can avoid that. But it's attached to the Thanksgiving turkey theme, because I was thinking about that a lot up in the jail. And finally, we have a big old Passover brisket, because you know I love my mom. If you would all take a seat while I make a toast. Kindly raise your two liters to freedom, to you, and most importantly, to orange drink. And sex with Amy. To sex with Amy! Sorry, shouldn't have said that last part.
Carlton, there was a botch b &E at a jewelry store in Atlantic that just turned into a hostage situation. They want you to be the negotiator. Oh my god, my prayers have finally been answered. You prayed for a hostage situation? Yes, I did, every single day. I don't understand. Why isn't ESU handling this? Apparently, the hostage taker asked for Jake by name. Oh yes, it's getting even cooler. Oh man, I wonder who it is. Ooh, maybe it's the brother of someone I put away for life. Ooh, or the identical twin of someone I put away for life. Ooh, or the fraternal Jake, twin of- Jake, just get down there and take Diaz with you. Yep, 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 yep. How do I look? It doesn't matter. Let's go negotiate! Hey, everyone. I'm here. I'm Jake Peralta, the negotiator. Oh, so you're Jake Peralta. The negotiator, yes. Who are you? Dennis Cole, ESU. This was my crime scene before you bozos got here. Nice to meet you too, Dennis. I've spent 10 years as a negotiator, and you just took my first hostage situation. All I've done up till now is talk jumpers off of rooftops. But that must be satisfying in its own way, right? Yeah, really satisfying saving a crazy person's life. Whatever. Here's a little advice. I don't like you two. Not so much advice as it is a hurtful statement based on limited interaction. He wants to talk to you. Get the hell in there. Ooh, it says negotiator on it. This is Jake Peralta. I am unarmed, and I'm approaching the building. You wanted to talk to me? Keep those hands in the air. Now wave them like you just don't care. What? I'm just messing with you, Peralta. Put your hands down, give me a hug, baby. Judy! The muggings were confined to Cabot Street. They began over two months ago. Just like this briefing did. Please go to charisma class. I'm here, I'm here. Sorry, Charles. No, Jake. Never apologize for making an amazing entrance. My power went out last night and my alarm didn't go off. Your alarm is power dependent? You brought this on yourself, son. Point is, it will not happen again. Carry on. Sorry I'm late, Sarge. No hot water this morning. But I'm here, ready to go. We'll cause no further distractions. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Seriously? What is your excuse today? More bad luck. My car ran out of gas, and then my clothes disappeared from the laundromat. I had to beg one of my neighbors to loan me some of his. You never told us Sinbad lives in your building. If Sinbad lived in my building, I would have a tattoo on my forehead that says Sinbad lives in my building. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And I'm a half an hour early. That's right, my string of bad luck has finally come to an end. Peralta, you failed your drug test. There were traces of cocaine and methamphetamines found in your urine. What? It's happening again. Rosa, Rosa! Hitchcock fell asleep in the break room. I pranked him. I tied his shoelaces together. You're 38 years old, dude. I know, and yet my pranks still stay so fresh. It's incredible. You gotta untie his shoes before he gets hurt. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. Ugh. Fine. But what's the worst thing that could happen? <gasps> He's being strangled to death! Ow! Morning. Who were those for? Captain Holt's uncle passed away. They weren't close, but I wanted to do something. Interesting. Flowers are a bold choice, Santiago. But I can still beat you. Beat me at expressing condolences. Yep, it's on. Flowers are a gift, and Captain Holt hates gifts. I think a thoughtful email is the way to go here. Dear Captain, we were all so sorry for your loss. Group sentiment, very meaningful. Please let us know if there's anything we can do. Selfless act. Very respectful. Correct. I am the king of respectfulness, bitches. Hey, did you send that from your personal or work account? Personal. It's a personal matter involving a personal friend and his personal uncle. So you remembered to turn off your signature, right? I don't know. Hey, Captain, I just sent you an email. Uh... Dear Captain, we were all so sorry for your loss. Please let us know if there's anything we can do. Sent from my stinky butt. I was hacked? Thank you for the email. It means a lot to me. <sighs> You're very welcome. I was addressing your stinky butt. And so concludes this year's Secret Santa drawing. Just a quick reminder of the rules. $40 limit, no perishable items, and no homemade massage coupons, Hitchcock. Fine, then everyone will have to pay full price for them. Oh, Captain, I would like a $40 gift card to any restaurant that serves nachos. I don't have you, Peralta. Not only do I know that you do indeed have me, but I also know who everyone else has. That's not possible. Perhaps not for ordinary men such as yourself, Jeffords, but for the brilliant mind of Detective Jacob Sherlock Peralta, I legally changed my name, it's quite simply 
elementary. For you see, Amy made a face I only recognize from our bedroom, which means that she has Captain Holt. Charles has Terry, his eyes keep shifting over to him. No, they don't. Terry looked disgusted, which means he has Hitchcock. Rosie didn't draw a name, nor did she put one in. She doesn't want to participate. Never do. Hitchcock moves his mouth when he reads, and he quite clearly said Charles. I did get Charles. Scully has Amy, he's holding his paper name side out. Oh, he's good. And I have Scully, which means Captain Holt has me. I'll be taking that gift card. Daddy loves nachos. Should we draw the names again and leave Jake out? Yeah! yeah. Sherlock wants a present! Peralta, you need to come with me right now. Can I eat my bagel? Trust me, you're not gonna wanna eat before you see this. That's Shane Reed, suspect in a string of b and got pulled over this morning. This was in his trunk. Son of a bitch. Peralta, Peralta, calm down! Why am I here? I didn't do anything. You broke into 15 houses, Shane, but that's not what I care about right now. All I care about is what we found in your car. I don't understand. He doesn't understand, Diaz. Why don't you fill him in? You were invited to celebrate the wedding of Catherine Joyner and Douglas Judy. Douglas Judy, AKA Doug Judy, AKA the Pontiac Bandit. Maybe. That's a yes. Now tell me, Shane, when did you get the invite? What? When did you receive the invite in the mail and how come I didn't get one? Why would you get an invite? Do you know Doug? Hey, I'm the one asking the questions here. Calm down, Jake. Maybe it's a small wedding. Okay, good point. How big is the venue, Shane? I said, how big is the venue? I, I, I don't know. I, 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 but I bet you do know the password to the wedding website, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Well, then I guess you better tell it to me, Shane. You wash my back, I'll wash yours. Wash I meant scratch. You know I meant scratch. Now tell me the password. I think it's Doug and Kate forever. There. Was that so hard, Shane? You did the right thing. Now get this piece of trash out of my sight. <laughs> oh, is forever spelled out or is it the number four? Oh, it's spelled out. OK, thank you so much. Now get this piece of trash out of my sight. So I got assigned to this one rookie, and on his training day, I made him smoke angel dust at gunpoint. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. Isn't that the plot and tagline of... The movie Training Day? Yes, great observation tank. It's because it's based on my life. Bunch is over. Bunch of trays. Now, Peralta. I haven't finished my lemon cookie bowl. And you're not gonna get to either. Give it to me. Oh, you want the cookie? There's your cookie. You're going in the hole. Oh, I'm going in the hole? Yeah. Yeah, bring it on! Jay! 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 Remember Jay! that you saw Jay! it here today! Jay! You can lock me up, but one day I'll get out of here and I'll come for you! I'll come for all of you! Hey, Warden, what's up? Next time, don't wait too long to spit the cookie. I've been waiting in here for four minutes and it's gross. Oh, man, it really is. Okay, snitch time. What's up with Romero? All right, he's got a delivery coming in on Wednesday night. One of the cafeteria workers is smuggling something in with the produce. Ah, <laughs> great. See you Thursday. Wait, what? You're just gonna leave me in here in solitary? You spit in a guard's face. That's five days in the hole. Yeah, but, I mean, you made me do that. Well, we don't want anybody getting suspicious, huh? Have fun. Try not to go crazy. OK. No big deal. Five days is nothing. I'm not afraid to be alone with my thoughts. My thoughts are awesome. Die Hard Six on a cruise ship, pizza bagel restaurant, my father never loved me, and I'm going to die alone. Oh, boy, that happened fast. Guard! Guard! What you got there? A candle, perfume, bra. Someone's dropping off a care package for mom. Ew, no. It's the stuff that Sophia left in my apartment. Oh, bud. Oh, bud. Breakups are the worst. Man, I just want to walk up to Sophia, slap her in the face, and say, girl, you messed up. You need to destroy that stuff. You want me to crush that big box into a little ball with my bare hands? No, I'm going to text Sophia and give her her stuff back. That way, I'll get to see her again and hopefully smell the air around her hair. That'll make me feel better. No, 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 no. OK, you need to embrace the pain so you can get through it. You need catharsis. Start just right. You need to cathart. Cathart your brains out. Cathart all over the place. That is a great point, guys. Thank you. You know who would appreciate that a lot is Sophia. I'm going to text her. I'm going to take that phone now, Jake. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Well, you did that very easily. Look, I understand that you're trying to help, but I promise you the best thing for me right now is to text Sophia. Take my phone. Thank you. And send. Why hasn't she written back yet? God, this feels terrible. You two could have stopped this, but you didn't, you monsters. And those of you patrolling 7th Avenue, please be aware of the new pedal pubs. They're bike-powered mobile bars that are very popular with bachelorette parties. But unfortunately, they have led to a dramatic increase in the rarely seen case of female public urination. Resist. That's everything, but before we go home, quick reminder that today is Sergeant Santiago's last day before maternity leave. Yes. 
We'll see you in three months. You get three months off? Can I take a maternity leave? Are you giving birth to a baby? I'm having a seven pound mass removed from my abdomen next week. Oh, oh man. Yeah, never ask Scully questions. That's on me, guys. Dismissed. So, have you guys decided on a name yet? We're not telling people until he's born. Not the baby's name, my name. What's he gonna call me? Uncle Chuck? Unky C? Ooh, Chi Chi, so he says it early. Maybe just Charles? Wait, so my dad gets to be his pop pop, but I'm just Charles? Your dad does not get to be his pop pop. Well, I hope you're prepared to make that phone call. Uh, what was that? Wow. Oh, Brooklyn lost power. You know, I've always kind of liked blackouts. Listen to how quiet it is, it's so peaceful. <laughs> Nope, it immediately turned into a purge. Way to go, New York. All right, let's suit up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. I'm Jake Peralta. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. So thrilled to be here today. Uh, as many of you may know, I used to be a cop. Hey, I was dirty. I took tons of bribes. <laughs> but as a former detective, uh, I know a thing or two about life sentences. And Angie, Marco, you just got slapped with the best life sentence there is, marriage. <laughs> to Angie and Marco, make us proud, have a son. Salud. Salud. Hey, I love the spray tan, Joey. Hey, let me take a picture of you. I want to show this color to the guy who stains my deck. <laughs> Congratulations, Tony. It's a beautiful night. Hey, you're one of us now. <laughs> you know how long I've been waiting for one of you old men to kiss me? He's a good kid. <laughs> I gotta say, out of the four of you, I think Vito's the best kisser. <laughs> ah, what a wedding, huh? Although the meatballs were a little dry. Dry meatballs. That's for all the signal. Let's go! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Jesus. Hey, Captain Holt. Long time no see. How you doing? This is not the time, Peralta. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Ah, I've missed us. Attention, squad. Put your hands together for the long-anticipated reunion of... DDC! 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 Put a J with a G. You get DDC! The gas face. What the hell is the DDC? I don't know, but I love it. The DDC is the dope. Denim. Crew. Our 20-year high school reunion is tonight, and the party is 90s themed, so we're dressing the way we did back then, AKA hella fresh. Can't wait to see everyone we graduated with and lie to them about what I've been up to for my own amusement. It's gonna be Fib City population. Gina Clooney. Oh. But Jake, how could you be excited to return to your high school? The scene of Tattlegate. What's Tattlegate? Why haven't I heard anything about it? It was junior year, and Jake was riding high. Charles, no one wants to hear this story. From you, it was junior year, and Jake was riding high. Sophomore year was rough, but now I was back with a hot new look, an earring and long hair. Which was my look, he just copied it. And it worked. I was finally cool and becoming friends with the most popular kid in school. Brandon Bliss. Dope name, sounds hot. He was hot, Rosa. For the record, he could barely read. He didn't have to read, Gina. He lost his virginity when he was 12 years old. Which is horrifying. But it wasn't back then. Back then, it was everything. He asked me to ditch class one day with him and his buddies, steal a school van, and go get drunk at his parents' cabin. But the day before we were supposed to go, someone ratted Brandon out, and he got suspended. He thought I was the one who told, and from that day forward, everyone called me the Tattler. Tattler. It's a sexy nickname. It was not a sexy nickname. It was a scarlet letter and it ruined my senior year. But luckily, I'm over all that now. Not me. I'm gonna go to this reunion tonight and kick Brandon Bliss in the butthole. Horrifying. But that won't be necessary, Charles, for my awesome life will do the butthole kicking this eve. I've got a sweet job and a super smart, incredible wife. Tonight's gonna be awesome, right, Gina? Damn straight. A DD. See? A DD. See? A DD. See? Santiago, your test result from the sergeant's exam has arrived. Ooh, everybody make room. 
Amy needs adequate space to do her signature dork dance. I don't know if there's gonna be a dork dance. And look how small that envelope is. That's not a big good news envelope. That's a little bad news envelope. What? That's nuts. Sarge, tell her envelope size doesn't matter. If I'm being honest, I got a much bigger envelope. Oh, God. Unhelpful, Terry. Very unhelpful. Mine was bigger, too. Okay. I just won't ever open it. That way, I'll never get rejected. Fine. I'll open it. No! No! Do it harder. I opened it. You passed. Oh, my God. I'm gonna be a surgeon. You're gonna be a sergeant! Yes! yes! Oh, no, it's happening! Woo! Yeah. That's my future wife! So... Jake, will you join me in Terry's office? Oh, private rendezvous, huh? This whole trying to make a baby thing has got you super freaky. Terry, what's up, dude? What did you think was happening? He clearly thought you were gonna have secret sex in here. <laughs> In a probes much? I did not think that. Amy did. She texted me about it. See? Proof. Anyway, what's up, Lieutenant? Santiago and I are going to an administration workshop for the NYPD. And it's voluntary, so only the cool kids are gonna be there. Love you so much. Continue. Anyways, you're in charge for the day. Oh, boy. Here comes the lecture. Be responsible, Jake. Don't do anything crazy or fun. There's no lecture. I trust you. Oh, but there always used to be a lecture. Yeah, well, you're not the same immature, rebellious kid you used to be. Didn't you and Amy just buy a family-friendly mid-sized sedan? In a rebellious color, champagne, which is an alcohol, and let's not forget, I wanted to have sex in your office just now. Yeah, to have a baby and become a father. Yeah, he turned it around on me. It's not bad that I trust you more now. Plus, there's not even that much for you guys to do today. I mean, the squad is on reserve parade duty. Your job is to sit around. Good point. Besides, what's the worst thing a responsible guy like me could do? Buckle your butts, everyone! The Jimmy Jab games are back! Peralta, looks like an old friend of yours is back in town. Who? That guy Neil that you bunked with at sleepaway camp? Ah, uh, Neil from camp was the best. He could pick up a milk carton with his butt cheeks. <laughs> he was so funny. You know who else was funny? Bill Cosby. Charles, will you relax? You're gonna love Neil. It's not Neil. Why would it be Neil? It's Doug Judy. Oh. Right, someone we all know in a police capacity. That makes more sense. Someone's using his signature move to steal cars, plugging into the OBD port and reprogramming the immobilizer module. That's Doug Judy's M.O., but it's not him. He told me he went legit. That's what he told you last time, too, before he screwed you over. Yeah, but he returned the diamonds to me eventually, and it turned out that was the only way to get Giggle Pig off the streets. Wait, I may be confusing our adventures. What year was the cruise? The dude's a criminal. People don't change. Ever heard of Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk? You might want to talk to his shirts and pants about people not changing. <laughs> But I want to ask Doug Judy some questions. You have his number? I always make contact through his mom. I'll put you in touch with her, but remember, she thinks I'm his assistant, Mangy Carl, and he's a famous architect who's designing LeBron James's new school for black astronauts. Hello? Mrs. Judy? I'm looking for your son, the architect. Yes, I'm from Black NASA. Oh, my. I didn't know. I understand. Goodbye. So... Doug Judy will not be coming in. What? Why not? Oh, I see. He is dead. Ugh, motorcade duty. So boring. I honestly would rather sit around and listen to you talk about the right way to make paella. There's more than one right way to make paella, Jake. There are 10 right ways. You got classic Valencian, modern... No, food. wait, stop. I changed my mind. I've made a horrible mistake. Hey, Rosa. Just who I was looking for. Quick question. Can I have your friend Katie's phone number? I want to ask her out. No, I don't mix personal and professional. You're never getting her number. Never like we're never going to have a black president never? Because that happened. A real never. Like, if you ever ask me about this again, you're never going to be able to eat without a straw. Yeah, OK. Well, you are on the wrong side of history, my friend. Katie, huh? Wow, I can't believe you're not still pining for Amy. I mean, I pined for years. I still think about Mia, the nurse that helped my Nana pass. Yes, I know. You've told me like a hundred times about the time your Nana collapsed and accidentally pulled Mia's pants down. Best day of my life. I don't have feelings for Amy anymore, so time for me to get out there and spread my wings. Legs. Get out there and spread my legs? Well, I either way. No, not either way. Only wings. Okie doke. The car's picking me and Amy up in two minutes. You sure you're cool keeping tabs on my cases while I'm on the cruise? You bet. I hope you have a great time. Hey, don't make any new best friends. <laughs> uh, maybe you shouldn't go. Are you kidding? I am psyched to go on this week-long cruise just sitting around doing nothing. Straight up living that slug life, y'all. Cruise itinerary is hot off the laminator. Who's ready for some nonstop, totally scheduled fun? Oh. I actually thought we could just sit by the pool, eat unlimited shrimp, and see what it does to our bodies. That's cute. I don't know if there's going to be time, though. The cruise offers 77 activities, and I signed us up for 76 of them. Speed dating for widows seemed like a bummer. OK, so 
slightly different perspectives going into this cruise. Call it the slug life talking, but I think it's gonna work itself out. Goodbye, coworkers, or as they like to say at sea, Hey, Captain. got a second? It's Captain. What did I say? Captain, like Captain Crunch. All right, but to be fair, Captain Crunch was a war hero and the primary male role model in my house growing up, so. Anyways, Cap 10, you know that jewelry store robbery down by Grand Army Plaza? I know who did it, Dustin Whitman. I put him in Rikers two years ago. He just got out and the crime scene matches his MO perfectly. Okay, what do we got? Uh, security cam shows male suspect, five foot nine. Wearing a black ski mask. He bypassed the McConnell alarm by using the magnetic kill switch and he only stole diamonds, nothing over two carats. Yeah, exactly, how'd you know? I'm a detective, that's what I do. I'm just kidding, I need a lot more information, but that would have been a great exit line, right? The crime techs aren't done yet, but I'm 100% sure it's Whitman. Well, let's see what kind of physical evidence they turn up and then we can talk arrest. Actually, hilarious story. So that is Dustin Whitman. You already arrested him with insufficient evidence. By law, we have 48 hours to find that evidence, so we have to let him go. You just started the clock. What's up with this emergency meeting? Whoa, Detective Santiago. Oh. Big date tonight. How do I look? Well, I think you look. <laughs> Sorry, that was supposed to be a cat call. I don't know how this works. Hey, is this why you were getting makeup tips from the prostitute in the holding cell? I just wanted to know how she got such smoky eyes. Turns out it was an STD rash. Detective Peralta has made a collar in the jewelry store heist. Way to go, Jakey. That's okay. No, he didn't get sufficient evidence to make it stick. So we have the next 48 hours to fix his mistake. Oh. What evidence did you have when you arrested this guy? Some pretty ironclad stuff. Dustin, it's been a while. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Well, well, well. If it isn't joke Peralta. <laughs> That's it, you're under arrest. Case closed. If we don't find something conclusive, it jeopardizes the case and opens the department up to a lawsuit. So cancel your plans. We're here until this is over. Damn it, Peralta. Oh, I know everyone's mad at Peralta for ruining their weekend. But? That was it. I was just demonstrating for Detective Peralta what a fact is. So again, your alibi is a mysterious stranger handed you the gun, made you put your prints on it, robbed the store, and then hid the gun in your underpants. Well, yeah, if you say it like that, it don't sound believable. Oh, hey, Captain. Did you get my report on the Finley murder? Oh, uh, yeah, I looked it over. Nice work. Good. Thanks, Dad. Why is everyone staring at me? You just called Captain Holt Dad. You said, thanks, Dad. What? No, I didn't. I said, thanks, man. Do you see me as a father figure, Peralta? No. If anything, I see you as a bother figure, because you're always bothering me. Hey, show your father some respect. I didn't call him Dad. No, 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 no. Jacob. I take it as a compliment. It's not a big deal. I called Vivian mom once, and she's my fiance. Guys, jump on that. Boyle has psychosexual issues. Old news, but you calling Holt daddy. Hey, daddy is not on the table here. But you did call him dad, dude. You shut up. You've done nothing but lie since you got here. All right, all right, I was lying about the holdup. But the dad thing, that happened. Aha! He admitted that his alibi was a lie. It was a trap, all part of my crazy, devious plan. I believe you. Thank you. Son, you want to talk about it later over a game of catch? I'd like that. Attention, everyone. Say goodbye to the Jake Peralta you know and love. For today is the day I forever change. Ooh, are you finally growing a mustache? No, you know I can't do that, and it's cruel of you to keep bringing it up. This envelope contains the inheritance my uncle left me. He died a year ago. He was so rich, he had a whole room in his house just to eat in. You mean like a dining room? Yeah but in Manhattan. Oh, dang. Now, just because I'm definitely rich now doesn't mean I'm gonna forget my roots. You all get something, so fire away. Jake, your friendship is gift enough for me. Friendship is crap. I want a Ducati Monster A21. All right, Rosa gets a motorcycle. Oh, cool, I want a fast sports car. Come on, you could be honest. I want old expensive books, I'll send you a list. There you go. Now, let's find out what I'm worth. Uh, I'm too nervous to open it. Sarge, you do it. Okay. It's stock. One million shares! Oh my god! A blockbuster video stock. Oh, that's man. Nice. What? Is that bad? I still have a blockbuster card. What happened to blockbuster? This job is eating me alive. I can't breathe anymore.
I spent all these years trying to be the good guy, the man in the white hat. I'm not becoming like them. I am them. Hey, what are you doing, weirdo? I'm doing the best speech from Donnie Brasco. Or actually, 10 of me are doing the best speech from Donnie Brasco. What's up? Get it together, man, okay? So the store was hit about two hours ago. They took mostly tablets, laptops, and cameras. Sorry. I'd like a list of all your employees who ever had access to the store. I'd also like to apologize for my partner. His parents didn't give him enough attention. Uh, detective, I already solved the case. We're looking for three white males, one of whom has sleeved hats on both arms. And how do you know that? I had an informant on the inside. He's been here for years, watching, learning, waiting. His code name? Fuzzy Cuddle Bear. He's an anacam. Ugh, you got lucky. No, I got here five minutes before you and figured that in this gigantic electronic store, there had to be at least one working camera. Oh, hi, bad guys. You did it, Fuzzy. You busted him. It's time to come home. I'm not sure if I can. I've been undercover so long, I've forgotten who I am. I've seen terrible things. I haven't known the touch of a woman in many moons. All right. Detective Santiago! Don't walk away from me! <laughs> I'm so glad we could finally do this. I know, Kylie says you're always stuck at the precinct. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of, this is work, sorry. What's up, Peralta? Captain called. He needs everybody back. There's a lead on the Nightingale Strangler. We're looking for a white male, 5'10", medium build, brown hair, small scar on his right cheek. OK. His MO is he finds lonely women with no friends, poisons their food, and then guts them in his van. It's pretty gnarly. Last seen wearing a salmon shirt, gray blazer. And witnesses have said he has trouble fitting lettuce in his mouth. OK, where are you? Apparently has the world's smallest penis and doesn't know how to use it. Hi there, I'm Jake Peralta, Amy's boss. That's not true. What are you doing here? I am here on a date. Who is now leaving? Worth it. Have a great night. Your boss seems really nice. He's not my boss. Yes, I am. Oh, oh, oh Merry Christmas. Whoa, oh, thank you, good sir. The elves will not starve this night. Any sign of our bogey? Negative. Are you sure our guy's going to show? My CI said he walked this route exactly the last three days. Fine, but in 10 minutes, we're calling this. I have to get back to my ecstasy task force. We have to bag a major giggle pig player sooner. They're going to shut us down. Oh, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Presents! God, you're bad at being Santa. Jake, holy crap, 9 o'clock. The Pontiac Bandit, AKA Doug Judy. OK, Santa, stay calm, just like we practiced. Merry Judy, Mr. Doug Judy Christmas. Damn it! Peralta? No! Oh, you ring attack? Yeah! Greasy! And my PD stop where you are! Come on, Santa, why are you so fat? NYPD, clear out. Where are you? Gotcha! <laughs> Doug, Judy, you're under arrest. Put your hands in the air. Hey, Rosa, Merry Christmas, girl. Shut up. Take a good look, kids. This is what happens when you're naughty! Hey, you guys got a sec? I need to talk to you about something. Whatever it is can wait, Rosie. You're going to want to see this. Question, what is the number one problem with the coronavirus? Mass death, economic collapse, the way the disease has exposed the systemic injustice at the core of American life. Well, yes, obviously those. But after that, it's how to high five your friends while staying six feet apart. But now the world can stop their worrying because we have created the COVID-5. With this machine, you can execute any high five your heart desires. There's the classic. Slip me some skin. <laughs> sprinkle me, sprinkle me, sprinkle, sprinkle me, sprinkle. The Vulcan scissor. That's a bad one. Yeah. And of course, the need for speed. Woo! Wow, that was impressively stupid. I know, right? Uh, so what was it you wanted to tell me? Just wanted to say goodbye. I turned in my resignation. I quit the force. What? Oh! Ow! Ah! Dude, that was by far the best five.
You're quitting? Listen up, everyone. We had a murder this morning. The Vic was found at 845 by a dog walker who let herself into his apartment. Oh, my God, it's Franzia. This is the work of Johnny Franzia, my white whale. He's finally resurfaced. Not this again. Yes, this again. Johnny Franzia has been on a murder spree for the past 10 years, and every time he kills someone, he taunts me. Look, there's a deck of cards. You say that whenever there's cards at a crime scene. You know how many people own cards, Jake? Then explain this. Johnny Franzia's catchphrase is deuces are wild. Now look around the apartment. Two chairs. Two paintings, two pillows. There are three lamps. You think Franzia gives a damn about lamps? You sound so dumb right now. This is why you don't have an arch nemesis, Terry, because you focus on the wrong details. Maybe I don't have an arch nemesis because I saw all my crimes. That's a pretty up thing to say to me. Uh, parenting is exhausting. You're tired because you were up until five in the morning playing a game on your phone. It's not a game. It's a realistic pizza parlor simulator. <laughs> it's very different. There's no winning. Then why do you play? To earn pizza points to get better toppings. What's up, Peralta? Hey, Trudy Judy and Dog Judy. What's going on? Are you puppy sitting for Doug? Well, I was, but I need you to take him for me because I'm going on a little vacay. And let's just say there's going to be some activities that aren't suitable for a little dog. Mm. Like parasailing. Huh. Thought you were building to something much more sexual. Nope, just really pumped for parasailing. Also, there's gonna be a lot of but the dog's okay with that here. Hey. Oh, as much as we would love to take care of this extremely unneutered animal, we can't because I'm too allergic. Wait, why isn't Doug Judy taking care of Dog Judy? Is he out of town or something? Oh, no, you didn't hear. Doug got arrested. He's going to prison. Wait, what? Doug got arrested. He's going to prison. Yeah, no, I heard you. I was just processing. Oh, you want to hug a dog? Oh, my God. It's like a third of him. I can't believe they're waxing the floors and we're all stuck in here. I've never seen them do this before. They do it once a month. We've just never been on the night shift. I know. It's like we're being punished. We are for going to Florida. Oh, I don't listen to so much stuff you all say. Well, frankly, I pity the lot of you. You look out there and see a problem. I look out there and see an opportunity. I'm going to slide on that slippery floor all the way from Holt's office to the elevator. You're going to do the FBP. That's right, Rosa. I'm doing the full bullpen. Here we go. We can build this thing together. Standing strong forever. No one's gonna stop us now. And if this world runs out of lovers, we'll still have each other. Nothing's gonna stop us. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Oh, I can't stop! The full bullpen! Hey, Charles. Wanna grab a beer before you go home? Ooh, a yeast feast. Never mind. No, 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 I wanna go. It's just, there's a huge emergency I have to deal with first. Oh no, is everything okay? It's about my food truck. I have to get a parking spot. Oh, that doesn't sound as intense as you were making it out to be. Move your asshole, bitch! What is happening? We have to get there by seven o'clock when they lift the parking restrictions. It's the best spot in Brooklyn and everyone wants it. Get the hell out of the way! <laughs> Charles, I highly doubt the entire food truck industry is racing to get into this one spot. It's not Mad Max. We're neck and neck with rice pudding. You got Korean tacos on your six. Oh my God, it's real. We're on the Fury Road. Witness me, Bloodbath! Hold on tight!